Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchas? Okay, I think. Yeah, teacher, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Thank you. Everything okay at home? Todo bien en casa? Yeah. Yeah. Now, yes. Okay, yesterday uh, you had some problems, right? Sí. Yes, Por la tormenta, hubo tormenta y se fue la luz a las 4 de la tarde. Wow, ya no puse seguir trabajando. Ayer me tocaba trabajar en de la casa. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, sometimes uh, that happens because, uh, well, the rain, there is interference, hay interferencia, and it is very difficult to work like that. Even uh, sometimes uh, people uh, don't have internet, some students don't have internet, so they have to use their, their cell phones uh, internet to to uh, be connected okay so but i'm happy that you are here now nice okay. Bane. hello Bane. Mm -hmm. hello teacher today is friday and the body knows it so it's a viernes <laughs> y el cuerpo lo sabe verdad jesse no dice jesse okay how are you Bane? how are you uh so so why are you tired está cansada un poco because of the of the work or because of the university the work the work okay it, it is uh, very tiring but it's muy cansado okay so let's listen to Jesse how are you Jesse Tired? Hi, hi. ¿Qué pasa con esos ánimos, Jesse? Come on. Friday. Viernes. Ya no quiero. Y me falta mañana todavía. Yes, but tomorrow you finish uh, your work at 12. A las 12 termina, ¿verdad? Yes. No. Mm. Too tired. Too tired. Well, you have the afternoon to go with. Uh, your friends or with your family so you can have fun puede tener diversión of course no no porque después tengo clases okay you have class and what time you finish everything I quiero terminar todo mm -hmm. hasta la seven until seven so you can go to the disco you can go to any party yep Yes, why not? You can escape. Te puedes escapar with a special person. Mm? Mm -mm. No, okay. No, no, no te digas, pues está bien. Hacelo, pero no. <laughs> nice. Naum, hello, my friend. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I can see that you are very fresh. Te veo bien fresco hoy, bien. Sure. Like very, yes. <laughs> are no, you? teacher. No. <laughs> So, yes, could be. Yeah, it could be. Okay. <laughs> um. So tell me, do you have uh do you have work for tomorrow? No. It's no. My, it's one of my day off. Wow, that's good. But wow. Jose Palacio has has to work tomorrow. Yes, that happens. You, until twelve o'clock. Until twelve. Wow, well, but you have the afternoon. Tienes la tarde libre. Well, yes, uh, well the, I mean, I but, mean, mm -hmm. but the next, the next Saturday I have to work, and, you he, to work. and he has, so and he has. A, a okay, so it means that you have to take advantage. Deben de aprovechar los sábados or the Saturdays that you have, uh, like free, los sábados que tienen libre, or Sundays. Or the yes. que tienen libre. Uh -huh. But I have to work in my home. But you know, it's another thing. Okay. Okay, good, good. More money. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. okay, let's listen to um, Elenita. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. So you are... Uh, okay, question. Are you enjoying your vacation? ¿Estás disfrutando tus vacaciones? Yes. 
That's the How answer. Do you say al maximum? Huh? Sorry? Do you say al maximum? Yeah, to the top. To al the top, top, al maximum. Topelo. Okay, yes. good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Relax. Acuérdate lo que te dije. Use pajamas. Utiliza unas pijamas de eso. Grandes. Deja camis, camisetas grandes de tu ex. Okay, you, you can have fun. Watch Netflix. Eating a lot of ice cream. Come sorbete mucho. Comer. Yeah, eat. Me acuerdo y después de Pizza, hamburguesa. What's your favorite fast food? Pizza, hamburger, hot dogs. Pizza, tacos. Yeah, tacos. Yeah, Mexican food. Really nice. Why not? Yeah. Yes. Good, good. Acepto, I acepto envíos. Okay. Bye, good. chico. Nice. Gracias, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Jenny, what are you thinking? ¿Qué estás pensando, Jenny? Estoy revisando mensajes del trabajo. Ah, ok. ¿Everything ok? ¿Todo bien? Yo digo que sí, me echaron. Ah, no, mentira. Así, así es como el meme. Voy a ver qué hay en el trabajo. Y el señor con la taza, el señor con la taza. Ok, nice. Good evening, how are you? Well, I think I'm good. This has been a very hard day. Voy a tener un día un complicadito, but eh, as always, positive attitude. Como siempre, actitud positiva. Toda la vida. Oh, hey, so, so, yeah. Así es. So, and what about you? Yeah, to, uh, all right. <laughs> all right, okay. Nice. Right day. Okay, good. Uh, are you working tomorrow? No. No, okay, good. That's a blessing. bendición. Good. Now let's listen to what well, uh, Alejandra is uh, working. She said she's working. So let's listen to Roxy. Hello, Roxy. Hello, teacher. Okay, how are you? Hoy no te estás respondiendo. Aquí estoy dando las últimas. Vamos, tú puedes, tú puedes. You can do it. So uh, how are you, Roxy? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's that's the way. Thank you, <laughs> Silvana. Hello. O sea, tiene una gran plática esa Silvana ahí, ¿qué? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. What uh, is what is doing your 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 baby? ¿Qué está haciendo? Playing, coloring, eating, eating. Coming. Ah, that's why she's in silence. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thank you. And let's see who else. Well. The rest, bien, salud, cheers, Jesse. Parece que ese juguito tiene algo especial, so, salud, saludcita. Yes, of course, why not? No, I'm not, I'm kidding. Um, let's see, here we have no, class number 19, 19, so one else, una más, una más, one. And we're going to, to finish and accomplish the objective ¿Verdad? Después de esta clase ustedes van a tener dinero. Yes. Ok. So, uh, vocabulary practice. And we have ways to introduce someone. So, uh, we can say, I like you to meet car. Me gustaría que conocieras a car. Or you can say, I want to introduce you car. Eh, en la primera dice, me gustaría que conocieras a car. En la segunda sería, eh, yo quiero. Eh, no es introducirte, quiero presentarte a car. Solo que así se dice... <laughs> Parece, pero no. I want to introduce your car. And then, have you met car? Entonces, en la otra se, se dice como, ¿conoces Carlos? Y comienzas a describirlo. Por ejemplo, number one. I'd, I'd like you to meet car. He is, uh, he's studying English. He is uh, 22 years old. And he has a new car. Okay, tiene un nuevo car. Or, I want to introduce your car. He's 22 years old. He's studying English. And he has an old car. Lo que sea. Have you met car? Y si la persona dice no. Um, well, he's uh, 22 years old. Y comienzan a escribir. Así que necesito que me escriban a alguien brevemente. Um, whoever. Quien sea. Cuando digo whoever. Eh, significa quien sea. Cuando decimos whatever. Whatever. La gente se confunde. Por ejemplo, cuando dicen whatever, significa lo que sea. Pero cuando les preguntan, where do you want to go? ¿Dónde quieres ir? Y la gente dice, whatever, está mal empleado. Porque no es whatever, es wherever. 
donde sea, ¿ok? Y le, si le decimos, mira, ¿a quién invitamos? Who do we invite? Do we invite Jesse or do we invite Carlos? Y si las personas le dicen whatever, porque eso es bien común que la gente dice whatever, pero no, aquí es whoever, quien sea. Okay. Whoever, quien sea, wherever, donde sea, whatever, lo que sea. But we ask like a fashion, como moda la gente normalmente dice whatever, ¿verdad? Whatever, y, y no, no es tanto eso, sino que whatever es para algo, whatever es lugar, whoever es quien sea, ¿ok? So, invent a person and mention Three things about that person. So I need you to introduce someone. Necesito que presenten a alguien, ¿verdad? Pero no como en bachillerato en la escuela cuando se hacían los paros, ¿ok? No, I need you to introduce a person. It can be a, a classmate, puede ser un compañero. Uh, it can be a he or she can be a relative, puede ser un familiar. So uh, pick one of these. I like you to meet. I want to introduce you. Have you met? ¿Ok? Cualquiera de estas. Bien, comenzamos con... Yeah. Con carita de inocente. Te veo cara de inocente por ahí. Mm. Jenny dijo. Ay, ay. Ah, no tenés cara de inocente, va bien saber. Sí, sí, sí. <risa> ok, so pick one of these and I, I need you to talk about a person. Necesito que hable de una persona, lo que sea, puede decir su edad, eh, his favorite color or her favorite color. Eh, si sí, él es una profesión, he or she is a cashier. Um, okay. Cualquier cosa. Tres cosas. Three things about a person, but uh, this is a way to introduce someone. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to introduce you. Introduce, introduce you. Introduce you. Repeat, please. I want Tell to me. introduce you. Introduce, introduce, introduce you. you. Introduce okay. you. Okay. Okay. I want to introduce you. Uh, The name of the Heather. person. Heather. He's a nurse. He's funny. And he working work in the hospital. Okay. And he's working in the hospital. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Or he works at the hospital. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, Jenny. Okay. Let's listen now to Noam and then Elena. Hello, mm -hmm. I want to introduce you, Jenny, or classmate in English. Um, she is Jenny, she is 23 years old, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I invent, you know, and she lives in San Vicente, she's a teacher, and she plays Some instrument that I forget the name, but and okay. she is studying English. Wow! And, and she hopes to pass this course. And she's divorced. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank and you she now. has a teacher. She is a a a. Ah no no no! <laughs> I forget. Okay, uh, relax now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Very okay. good and complete information. So now let's listen to Elena and then Roxy. Uh, can... Teacher, mm -hmm. no, I, I don't live in San Vicente. Cojute. Yo live in uh, Cojute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nunca has comido chorizo de Cojute. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Nice. Yes, um, siempre me recuerdo esa canción cuando escucho Cojute. Uh, okay, Elena and then Roxana. I want to introduce uh, my sister. And my sister is funny and smart. She's a uh, physiotherapy. Uh, this hair is curly. This eye, his eyes are pretty. That's it. Okay, perfect, nice. Okay. Uh, it sounds like your sister is a nice person, good. Okay. okay, now let's listen to Roxy. Ahora que está solas. Okay, Roxy. And then we go with Jesse with his, with her mysterious refreshment. Okay. okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esposo, teacher? Husband. <laughs> oh, husband. Husband. Mm -hmm. 
acabo ahí. My husband, Miguel, is my best friend. Mm -hmm. And? Oh, está ahí. Come on, how old no. is he? ¿Qué edad tiene? Mm -hmm. what, what is he? Is he... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Mm. Ay, no sé. Ok, eh, I'm going to give you time. Te voy a dar tiempo. Tienes que decir tres cosas de esa persona. Ok. Ah, bye. Bye, bye. Ok, puedes decir lo que sea. Él tiene tal edad. Bueno, si no lo quieres decir, puedes decir a qué se dedica. Ok, hemos cortado tantas veces. Ok, no problem with you. Ok, Jesse, your turn. And then we go with Carlos Salamanca. Ok, Jesse. I want to introduce you, my mother. She is pretty, tall, uh, thin, and very hard working. Okay, nice. How old is she? No me acuerdo. Okay. <laughs> Esa bebida, the drink, the drink. Es jugo de mandarina. With? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, and then we go with Jose. Okay, teacher, uh, I want to introduce you to Álvaro Palacios. Uh, he is my co-worker um, in the work uh, in Tradesa. Uh, he is a very intelligent and has an impressive capacity for analysis. I'll draw it is very serious. Ok, perfecto. Solo una cosa. Cuando mencionemos he is very intelligent, porque si decimos he is a very intelligent, puedes decir person, colleague, friend, ok. Entonces solo he is very intelligent. Sin okay. el a. Ok, perfecto. Uh, good description. Ok, now we go with José and then we go with Roxy y va a hablar acerca del amor de su vida. But first, José. Mm -hmm. Ok, I want to introduce you my sister. Her name's Cecilia, like uh, Italian Iceland. Mm. Uh, yeah, Cecilia. Uh, she's 37 years old. Uh, she's smart, uh, beauty, and cool. She's a lawyer. And she has a long and black hair. And she loves me very, very much. Wow. <laughs> and she gives you money. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, okay. Good. <laughs> nice. Cecilia. Yeah, oh. Cecilia. <laughs> mm -hmm. There is a pizza called Siciliana, I guess. I guess. Okay, but Cecilia. Good. <laughs> and uh, good name. Okay, Roxy, let's talk about your husband. He's an amazing person. He's the best husband. Mm -hmm. Hasta voy. He que era mi mejor best friend. Mm -hmm. But she is 26. He is. He or old. she. He. Huh? He. Mm -hmm. She 26 years old. And uh, likes to sing a lot. Okay. He is. He, right? Uh, or she? Oh, is <laughs> Okay, if it is she, no problem. Okay, so, um, so in this case, uh, good description. It's your bestie, is your BBF, the best friend, nice. So now let's listen to Silvana and then Bunny. Hi, TJ. Hello, hello. Um, I want to introduce you, my sister, and uh, my sister, She, ha, uh, she has uh, 29 years old. She is a painter and ceramic. Uh, she is very intelligent and she is a, a pretty woman. And I, she, me ayuda. She helped me with she my daughter. Helps me. Okay, perfect. But only one thing, she is, para decir la edad, she is, ¿verdad? No, she has. Ah, she is. She is, remember, okay. remember that. Okay, good, perfect. It sounds like a, she is a good person. Nice. Okay, Bane, and then we go with Mabel. Okay. 
I want to introduce. In, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo era introduce? Introduce, ah, no. introduce. Okay. Introduce. Introduce. Okay. I, can, I want to introduce you, Selena. Um, Quintanilla. No, oh. mi amiga. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, your friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, he is 22. She, she right? She. Okay. She is 22. Mm -hmm. She. She is. 22 years old, la, live in Ilopango. She is very intelligent and very arrogant. Okay, that's good. Your best friend, your BBF. Okay, Mabel, are you ready to introduce a person? Hello, Mabel. I'm not ready to Okay, teach you. okay, I'm going to give you time. Okay, no problem. Okay. Remember, whatever, whatever, whoever. Husband. Eh, ya sabemos que es esposita. El amor de su vida. Okay, so, continue. Ways to say nice to meet you. When you are having the first conversation, you, eh, you can say, you can say, okay, now it's raining. Yes. Well, I'm going to give you time in case I ask you. Si te pregunto, te voy a dar un poco de tiempo para pues no tener dificultades. Podemos cuando vamos, ya nos presentamos y todo, ¿verdad? Uh, you can say very, uh, very nice to meet you o simplemente nice to meet you, como es la vieja confiable, nice to meet you. But you can say also, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleased to meet you, no pleased. Pleased, pleased, conté al final aquí. Pleased to meet you. Hay muchos verbos, como les mencionaba la vez pasada, que se pronuncian con T al final. Por ejemplo, aquí no decimos work, decimos work, ¿verdad? Eh, hay otros que se dicen como ended, ahí ended, ¿verdad? Esos son los verbos eh, regulares, ¿verdad? Que se le agrega ed, pero eso lo van a ver más adelante, ¿ok? So, just to have an idea how to pronounce well. So, please to meet you, it's a pleasure to meet you, nice to meet you, very nice to meet you. Okay, I need you to tell me one. Okay, so Jesse, start and then Silvana, go. Only one, pick and pronounce it. Very nice to meet you. Silvana, then Carlos. Pleased to meet you. Mm -hmm. Carlos, then Jenny. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice. Jenny, then Roxy. Pleased to meet you. Pleased. Uh -huh. Pleased. Yes, pleased to meet you. Good. Roxy, then Elena. Pleased to meet you. Pleased. Pleased. Yes, pleased. Elena, then Vane. Very nice to meet you. Good. Uh, Vane, then Jose. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, Jose, then Naum. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. Naum, then uh, Linda, si nos escucha. Nice to meet you. Okay, la vieja confiable. Okay, Linda, hello, nos escuchas? Hello, yes. Okay. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, good, thank you. Me alegra que te hayas conectado, Linda, sé que vas a la disco, pero... Well, gracias por estar aquí en clase. No, okay. en el carro. <laughs> okay, yes, that's why you're in the car. Okay. Um, uh, Mabel, can you read one of these, please? ¿Cuál, teacher? Cualquiera. Very mm -hmm. nice to meet you. Thank you, very nice to meet you. And now here we have ways to finish a conversation. Ya cuando ya están aburridos, or when you want to do something else besides uh, talking, ¿verdad? Pueden decir, I should, I should, no show, I should. Uh, should se pronuncia así, ¿verdad? Así no. Así. Should, como la palabra cold se pronuncia could. Should, could, ¿verdad? Como la palabra would se pronuncia Good. Yeah. Okay. Should, could, would. Should, could, would. No me digan show old. ¿Verdad? No me digan cold. Would, teacher. No. 
should, could, would. Okay. Esto es solo para refresh. So, I should get going como, hey, ya debería irme. Salud. Okay. And luego, I better, get, I better get back to work como mejor regreso a trabajar. I better, I better get back to work. O I better get back to house. I better. It was nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you. Okay. I should get going. Bye. I better get back to work. It was nice talking to you. Okay. So Elena and then Jenny, pronounce one. I better get back to home. Mm -hmm. Good. Jenny, then has Carlos. It was nice talking you talking to you. Uh -huh. Aquí se dice, se dice así, ve. Talk, como TikTok. Talk. Talk. Y que sería talking. Uh -huh. Así es. Talking. Ajá. Como la palabra. I... Ah, did. adelante, please. It was nice talking to you. Así es, igual que la palabra walk, ¿verdad? No se dice walk, se dice walk, como China walk. Ok. Uh -huh. Eso hace que ustedes pronuncien todavía mejor. Y su inglés puede ser básico, cosa que no lo es, pero puede ser básico y va a sonar 7, 10. Ok. So, um, Carlos, right, Carlos, and then Bane. I should get going. I should get going. Good. Uh, Bane, then Jose. I want nice talking. Ok, solo it, solo it acá. It was. Mm -hmm. Jose de Noun. I better get back to folks. Good. Noun, then um, Roxana. Ah, no, Linda. It was nice talking to you. Perfect. Linda, um, then Mabel. I, sh I should get going. Mm -hmm. Mabel, then Silvana. It was what was nice talking, talking to you. you. Perfect. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Silvana. I should get going. Yeah, fácil, verdad? Entonces esto hace que nuestro it, it makes that our English sounds different, very different. Not just to say goodbye or not to say uh, nice to meet you too. You can say it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. So uh, now. Would you like to be famous? Why? Okay, let's listen to who? To Jesse and her favorite drink, magical and powerful drink. So, would you like to be famous? Gustaría ser famosa, diva. Yes. Mm. Why? Because. Because of the of the man, because of the money, because of the the what? The fans. Mm -hmm. Okay, think about it. Piénselo. Okay. Eh, el why es por qué. Entonces ustedes digan because of. Pueden decir because por. Uh -huh. Oh, because I want to travel, because I want to appear in the TV. Okay, uh, what about Jenny? And then Jose, would you like to be famous? No. Why no? <laughs> because I love my privacy. Privacy? Privacy? I love my I, privacy. I am an introvert and I need big people to be well and happy. Jenny, are, are you introvert? Yeah. I don't think so. Todo es parte del show mientras estoy. Ah, mira, no me estoy robando mi frase, por favor. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. bien. Todo es parte del show, así es. You're right. Okay, José, would you like to be famous? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. Because uh, the money <laughs> and knowledge a uh, lot of people. Yeah, you know a lot of people. Yeah, a yeah. lot of paparazzi. Okay. Nice. And uh, what about Carlos? And then Bunny. Would you would you like to be famous? Uh, I would not like to be famous. Okay. Um, why no? 
because I don't like being the center of attention. Wow. I like to have a low profile. Only uh, low profile. He, uh, Carlos likes to be a mysterious man. Okay. <laughs> Good, Carlos. Perfect. Uh, Bane, then Elena. Okay. Ay, ¿cuál era la pregunta? What, would you like to be famous? Is famous, I... ajá, would you like to be famous? Yes or no? Uh, uh, no. No, why? Uh, no. How only to, to, to pretend that every day is fun and tell you are perfect? So as now to disappoint. Okay. Uh, no, ¿Cómo se dice decepcionar? Disappoint. Disappoint the fan. The fans. Ah. <laughs> okay. Disappoint y decepcionar. Disappointed, disappointed y decepcionado. Todos en la vida hemos uh, sido disappointed en algún momento. Yes. Because of the, because of situation because of the family, because of the studies, because of a, a, a couple, una pareja, because of the money, the, the health, hasta la salud, okay? Disappoint, decepcionar, disappoint, decepcionado. Okay. Elena, famous, yes or no? No, teacher. Because my life was not provided and I would like to walk everywhere without been take pictures or inventing a gossip. 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 Yeah. yeah, that is something that happens that famous people have a lot of gossips. Yes. Nosotros, even we, that us, we are not famous and we have a lot of gossips. Imagínate, no somos famosos y tenemos un montón de chambres. Oh, so imagine, <laughs> imagine if you were famous. So imagine all the gossips about Jose. Hmm, a lot. <laughs> A lot of gossips. Okay, nice. Jesse, are you ready with your answer? Do I have a lot of money? Ah, yeah. To have a lot of money, yes. If you're famous, you, you, you can have a, a lot of uh, money. Okay, we're talking about famous like actors, like singers, like writers, like musicians. No estamos hablando de, de famous people like Pablito Díaz. We are not talking about uh, different people that they are famous, like Niña Lilian, that they are they are famous, but they don't have money. Okay, so that, that, that's a big difference. Okay, uh, Silvana, what about you? Depends, teacher. Depends on what? Okay, depend. uh, because uh, if... I could uh, help people. Oh, nice. Or um, have the power to uh, share some policies or um, structure the yes. society. Yes, yes. Social uh -huh. structure. Yes, of course. It's a good point. That's a good point. Depends on having uh, the power to change the society. Okay. Good, Silvana. Bien político, que es para político. Good. Uh, what about uh, Roxy? Do you have your answer? ¿Tienes tu respuesta, Roxy? Okay, I think no. What about Noam? The famous Noam. Okay, teacher. Uh, only for 10 years, you know? Famous for <laughs> I, 10 years. Yes, because I... I consider that this time you can get your home, your your business, be a, be owner of your and your fact your company, and only for that. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you uh, invest and save money, you can do it. But uh -huh. we have some examples for uh, in the case of Nicolas Cage uh -huh. or Johnny Depp that they are uh, excellent actors. They have a lot of money but they have problems with economy because something that people evade are tax or taxes, que son los impuestos that happens okay. a lot. In the United States, the taxes are very high. 
are very high. Mm -hmm. So if you win the lottery or if you win a lot of money, so you have to pay a lot of taxes to the government. So, but in, yeah. In, in, mm -hmm. but, but in that case, I, I don't like to be. Yeah, okay, in the, those, <laughs> no, but I, I'm sure because, that you're going to because, save money. Uh, because I love, I love my life and I love who I am, you know, and I love my family and my friends. Okay, but nice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, we love, okay. we love our life. Yes. And, and Roxy, ready? No. Okay. So this is uh, like a new word or new vocabulary that we have uh, learned. Uh, privacy, disappoint. Private depends on and taxes. Prepositions of place. Where is the park located? It is located among many places. Among es como es similar a between. Y between significa entre. Okay. Um, near. Uh, let's see, Carlos, do you remember what is near? My friend? Cerca? Yes, near. And past is como pasando, okay? So here we have number one. Where is the park located? It is located among many places. Okay, now let's listen to Jenny. Where is the sport palace? It's raining now. Me escuchan? Yep. Of course. Where is the sports place located? It's, it's located on bar Barrios? Barrios Street. Mm -hmm. Barrios Street in front of the park. Perfect. That's nice. Now let's listen to Elena and then Jose. Where is the mall? Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Perfect. Jose. Where is the church? It's located past the school. Yes, 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 it is. So, uh, where is the park? It's, it's located among many places. Realmente no es una ubicación muy exacta, okay? Among many places, of course it is. Pero no solo el parque. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, where is the sport palace? It's, it's located on various streets in front of the park. On Berry Street in front of the park. Look, on Berry Street in front of the park. And the mall is near the restaurant. Mall, 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 mall. Yeah, mall. Near the restaurant. If you notice, uh, there is no so specific. Okay, no tan específico. But we can use it. And what is the church? It's located past the school. Okay. So uh, here we have church, past the school, pasando la escuela, okay? So um, here we have complete the conversation. Um, using, I'm sorry, I'm going to change this. Complete the conversation using preposition from the box to the map and look at the, well, look at the map. So along, significa a lo largo de, verdad, along. Um, in front of, in front of, behind, we know, Jesse, what is behind in Spanish? Jesse, come on, Jesse, behind. No. Hay una canción de Lil Biscuit que se llama Behind Blue Eyes. Pero yo creo que es un cover. Pues. Okay, um, Jennifer, behind. Atrás. Perfect. Next to, sabemos que es a la par. Mabel, what is between, Mabel, in Spanish? Entre. Yes. Cosas. Yes, muy bien. Um, había, I had, I had a, a classmate que se había confundido. Cuando vamos, eh, cuando alguien le dice que entra a algún lugar, le decimos come in, entra. Pero cuando alguien le decía, can I, may I come in, puedo entrar? Y él decía, yes, between. Pero between the entre, es entre dos cosas, no, que entre. Come in, si entra. So, between es similar de como among, ya lo mencionamos. Across, cruzando. Across. Past, pasando. Under es bajo o abajo. So, along, a lo largo. So, um, I'm going to select 
for example, uh, Silvana, select one. And, and, relax, Silvana. Relax. And please, Elena, select one of these. And I'm going to show you the map. Okay, Silvana, what number? Mm -hmm. Number two. Number two, the city hall. The city the hall, city uh -huh, the church and book world. Mm -hmm. The city hall, church and book world. Mm -hmm. Is between. Yes, okay. yes, it's between. <laughs> Good. It's the between. It's, it's, be, it's, uh -huh. it's between. Mm -hmm. Okay. Between the church and the book yes, world. Elena and then Bane. Mm -hmm. Elena. One, three, or four? Um, four, teacher. Okay. Mm. The church and city hall, the alcaldía, are? Is, um, church and the city hall are? Are? Four. Puede poner el, el, el crops, por favor. The map, yep, yep. And the, the map. Church and City Hall. In front of. Yeah, we can say in front of. It can be decir across, al cruzar, or in front of. Uh, okay. Both are it's correct. Tengo una, tengo una duda. Mm -hmm. Este, el que decía de between, between entre dos mm -hmm. eh, lugares, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Y Amon es verdad. Amon es el otro, sí. Es, sí. pero es en medio de muchos lugares. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Algo así. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. Sí, between, más que todo, se refiere en medio de dos, así como tú uh -huh. lo dices. Yes, yes. Ah, ok. Thank, thank, thank you for you. telling. Gracias por comentarlo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Renita. Eh, ok, Vane. One or three. And then, um, Jesse. One. One. The Sport Palace is the bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sport Palace is the bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, Seria mm -hmm. the the Sport Palace is uh, past the bank. Mm -hmm. Si tú vienes de acá, sí, verdad? Mm -hmm. O puedes decir across, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. And number one, uh, Jesse, the sport pala uh, three. The restaurant is First Avenue. Uh, the restaurant. Mm -hmm. The restaurant is. Hello. Yeah. Yes. The Hello. restaurant is along First Avenue. Yeah, First Avenue. Perfect. Quotations, eh, no, eso no le dan caso. Ya saben que es date y que se puede. Yeah. Uh -huh. Me quedé con la duda sobre dos lugares, la alcaldía y el. City Hall en Guadalajara. Church en City Hall. No están next to, ne, ne, a la par, porque no hay calle en medio de ellos. Vieron a Cross o. Pero estaba con lo del parque. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. is the church in a book world. Mm -hmm. Oh, perdón, perdón, sí. Mm -hmm. Ya viste que estaba el parque. Oh, ah. Number four, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Jenny, okay. Jenny, qué observativa. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. And please, be ready with the quotations. And the, you're going to tell me. De las, eh, pues, eh, de las frases históricas o, o famous words, okay? So, let's see, Angela Alejandra, I know that you're working. I know that you are there, Angela. Okay, Carlos. Present. Thank you, Elena. Hi. Hi, uh, Ernesto, no, ever no, Flor, yes. Flor was, uh, had to be here. Flor tenía que estar acá. Okay, uh, Hugo, my friend, hello. Present. Nice. Very good audio. Jairo, Jairo, no. 
Esther couldn't be here. Jenny. Hi. Thank you. Jesse. Present. Thanks. Jose Palacios. Hi, teacher. Hi, uh, Linda. Uh, Linda can pass for Palacios. Present. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're there. At home, finally, in casa. Yes. Si no es un fondo que has puesto. No. No. Mabel. Hi. Hi. Mauricio, no. Naum, the famous person. No, teacher. <laughs> okay. Good. Reina. No. Roxana. Roxy. Present. Lu. Bane. Hi. Hi. Sam. No. Sam and Silvan. Thank you. Yes. Hello. So, uh, quotations son citas, pero no son citas románticas ni citas de, de, de dentista, ni nothing about it. Okay. Uh, but quotations son como citas, son frases, ¿verdad? Y normalmente van entre eh, las, las, estas comillas que se dicen, que se llaman quotes, quotes, por eso se llama quotations. Okay. So, uh, does anybody have, uh, does anybody want to share his or her quotation? Cheer. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh, please. Okay. Uh, John, Lemo, John Lennon said, made the love and not the world. I think I have it here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made uh, the that, love. That means, uh -huh, and not the world. The, the war. That's say that I have an extra point, right? Yeah. <laughs> You have oh, an extra okay. point. Okay, good. Okay, te vas a solo se ríe. Okay, make love and, and not work. Okay, suena como una indicación muy buena. Good. And who else? Hmm? We have John Lennon's quotations. Um, and we're going to have like, like, um, Six quotations first. What about Carlos? Do you have yours, Carlos? Yes, la está haciendo ahorita. Mira, mira. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Please tell me. Um, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, hoping to get different results. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Si quieres eh, diferentes resultados, tienes que ser. Mm -hmm. like, like, that, that is, that is uh, like in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. La definición de locura es hacer una y una vez lo mismo esperando un resultado diferente. Ah, yeah, that's it. I, I think I have seen that phrase, but in different words, okay? But yeah. Good. That, I think that is the real one. Yours is the real one. So thank you. Uh, Linda, you have yours. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. If you if you are going through hell, keep going. Winston Churchill. Ah, Winston Churchill. He was the prime minister in in London. No, in in England. In England. In England. Yes. If you are, uh, can can you say it again? If you if you are going through hell, keep mm -hmm. going. You good. Yeah, a very motivating, and he did a lot of sacrifice. He so much sacrifice. Well, the soldiers, soldiers did a lot of sacrifice. Yeah, for the Second World War. Thank you, Linda. Nice, Winston Churchill. Okay, we have John Lennon, Albert Einstein, Winston Churchill, and Le what about Hugo? Do you have yours, Hugo? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to change the world, change yourself. Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah, Gandhi. A, a, a nice philosopher. I think he was a lawyer. He was a leader. Pacifist. A pacifist, yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. Very powerful words. Okay. What about Jesse? Ready, Jesse? Yes. Every day we know more and understand less. Can you say it again, please? 
Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. Can you say it again, please? Um, ¿Qué significa? No, say it in, okay, go ahead in, in English. Um, dice que cada día sabemos más y entendemos menos. Every day we know more and understand less. Interesting. Mm, very interesting. And you did the homework. Congratulations. Yes. Perfect. Uh, I like that. Okay, and what about, um, what about Roxy? Are you there? Ready? No yet. Okay. Meanwhile, we're going to listen to Jenny. I think she has, she has hers ready, okay? Jenny? Okay. <clears throat> the mind is like a parachute. The life. Es como un paracaídos. Ah, the life. The mind. Ah, the mind is like La a parachute. Mm -hmm. It's like a parachute. Parachute, yeah, parachute. <laughs> yes, and uh, I think that is the it's... name of the first the, uh, album of Coldplay, I think. Mm -hmm. I so, know. yeah. Okay, but uh, it... who, who said that? Ah, parte, perdón, parte todavía. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It only works. It only works if you have it open. Solo funciona si la tienes abierta. Okay, who said that? No. By who? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Wow. Yeah, I think I have heard that, but I didn't know that uh, those were words of uh, Albert Einstein. Perfect. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe one more, one more time. I, okay, Jose. I'm not afraid of that. I just don't want to be there when it happens. Woody Allen. Woody Allen, yeah. He's a director, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you say so it again, me, please? Uh -huh. uh, I am not afraid of that. I just don't want to be there when it happens. No le tengo miedo a la muerte. Simplemente no quiero estar ahí cuando suceda. <laughs> very interesting for it and that 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 uh well that director has a uh, good movies very interesting okay thank you then we're going to continue later with this and i think it is very interesting to know uh the different uh philosophy ideas and opinions about famous and, or historical uh yeah famous person so we have a speaking activity and I need you to, if you want, you can have a screenshot of this and I'm going to, okay, we'll do this. Um, so we're going to complete the following uh, employees information about someone else. So I need you to be in pairs and you're going to ask, for example, Vanessa and, and Mabel, so Vanessa is going to ask, uh, what's your name? And Mabel is going to say, my name is blah, blah, blah. Uh, what is your workplace? Uh, no, 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 I, I mean, where is your work? No. Yeah, what is your workplace, verdad? Or your workplace, que es tu lugar de trabajo, el nombre de la empresa. Office, uh, phone, you can invent. Pueden inventar acá. Job position, so Mabel, uh, she's going to say the the, uh, his, uh, I'm sorry, her position, the department she belongs to, finance, uh, production, human resources, the address, the address of the workplace, and ID. Here you can invent the ID is identi identification document. We have ID. For example, we have Dewey. Our Dewey is uh, the ID. When you go to the university, you have your ID. It's common carnet, okay? And it is common that our ID uh, has our, like the uh, the letters, the first letter of our names or last names and some numbers. You can invent. For example, uh, si se llama Mabel Hernández puede ser MH007, okay? Problem, you can do it. 
So um, I need you to take notes about your uh, partner's information. Van a tomar nota de, de la información de su compañero. Okay. And that's it. So I'm going to um, order, I'm going to have the, the breakout rooms. And we're going to practice this. Okay. Y después vamos a hacer un report. You're going to share uh, the information. Okay. Preparen su información. Prepare your information. In, when, so when uh, your classmate asks you, you are ready with your information and you're not going to have any problem uh, for the moment uh, with this uh, easy activity. Okay, let's do it. Roxy, hello, are you there, Roxy? Okay, I need you to accept the request. Good. Lugar de trabajo. Yeah, the name of your enterprise or the company. Jesse. Hi. The name, uh, the name of the company, of your company or enterprise. Yep. Yep. Nice. Everything okay? Todo bien? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, Eleven. Parece, cállese. Eh, <laughs> Número. Es 20, 14, 15. Okay. 20, 14, 14, 15. 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Uh, my name is Jose Palacios. Okay. My office name phone is 7862 67 okay. my workplace Boulevard del Ejército soy a Las primeras son letras, ¿verdad? MH, ajá. Uh -huh. 
M H three three eight seven. Eight seven. Okay. Says L A D. No sé copiar los Ahí. dos porque la otra vez solo.
Okay, I need you to share uh, the information that now you have. And what is what we're going to do is the next. Here you have different uh, information about a uh, name, office, or main phone, workplace, job position, department, address, and ID. So I need you to choose two of these uh, different uh, kind of information or yeah, or, or different categories, and you're going to mention it. For example, um, let's see, Elena, you were talking with um, Elena. With hello, teacher. Who, who was your your classmate, your partner? In uh, the, toca, no, uh, who was uh, your your partner? You were talking. Yes, with, with Mabel. Mabel. Okay, so uh, Elena can say, for example, um, Mabel's workplace is. Intradesa. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, relax. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. No, but, but, but yeah, good. <laughs> and, <laughs> la emocionada. and Mabel's job position is, ¿verdad? Mabel's job position. Mabel's. Mabel's, Mabel's work play, the workplace is, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Mabel's ID is, Mabel's department is, okay. Okay. So, uh, Elena, I need you to select two, mm -hmm. two, okay. two of these categories. Yeah, and then Mabel is going to continue and so on. So remember, pick uh, two of these categories and say it. Okay. Uh, Mabel's is workplace in Tradesa. Okay, Mabel's Mabel. workplace is Mabel's workplace. Okay, Mabel workplace is, is in Tradesa. Perfect. And? And Mabel department is? A product development. Good. Mabel's department is. Thank you, Elenita. Mm -hmm. Mabel, you go and then we go with Carlos. Okay, Mabel, your turn. Are you ready? Mabel. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Elena's name. Carmen Elena. Mm -hmm. Elena's Elena's office main phone. Yes. Is uh, 277 A114. Thank you. That's Elena's... perfect. Mm, okay. One Is more. I... Puede, sí, dos, pero si gusta puede decir one more. Hey, you can say one more. No problem. Um... Elena's is Elena's workplace in Intradesa. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Elena's, good. Okay, Elena's re relax, no. Mabel. Yeah, Mabel. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Carlos. Ay, eh, quita la inspiración. Ya veo que sí, hombre, estamos aquí en inspirados. Porque okay, viernesito. Okay, thank you, Mabel. Okay, Carlos. Okay. His name is. Hugo Ayala. Good. Um, Hugo works Rio Invers Inversion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Hugo is an accountant assistant. Okay. Thank you. Hugo is an accountant uh, assistant. Okay. Uh, thank you. Hugo, your turn, my friend. And then yes. we go with uh, Linda. Carlos, workplace is in Tradesa. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos address, address is kilometer seven, Boulevard del Ejército, Sayapango City. Yeah, como, como el gordo soy así. Okay, good, thank you. Perfect. It sounds nice. Uh, Linda, your turn. Okay, uh, my, my colleague is Jose Palacios. Mm -hmm. Lo hice con Jose Palacios. No sé por qué escuché Cocolito, creo que ya estoy... ¿Verdad que sí? ¿Así se escuchó? No. Ajá. Es que sí se escuchó, yo Cocolito soy yo. Ya escuché Cocolito Palacios. <risa> ok. Ay, sorry. Okay, good. Mira, José. No, nah, okay. 
So, Linda, go ahead. I don't know what happened. Jim, Jose Palacios, workplace, creo inversiones, job position is billing manager. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Jose, your turn. Okay. The Linda's workplace is Setia DRL and the Linda's job position is accountant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now we go with Jenny. Roxana de Sorto. Roxana's workplace is mm -hmm. Banco Promerica. Yes. Permitame. And your go ahead, go ahead, please. And see? You? Yes, please. And your job position is executive. And her, his okay. Or her, <laughs> Sorry, I'm crying. His job position or mm -hmm. her position? Mm -hmm. Yeah, her position is, or yeah. her job position, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lo siento, lo siento. Bien, eh, Roxana, right? Hi. Roxy, your turn. <laughs> She's Jenny, workplace, teacher, oh. a school. Mm -hmm. Um. Is Andres is streets the lagoon? Okay, the her, her address. Mm -hmm. Her address. Uh -huh. her address. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's listen to Bunny. Are you ready? Yes. Please. She is um, Jessica. Uh, workplace is Inversiones. Just Position is supervisor supervisor thank you perfect okay jesse que te me hiciste? where are you yes aquí estoy mm -hmm. eh, vanessa velasquez mm -hmm. eh, vanes workplace eh, banco promérica mm -hmm. eh, vanessa is eh, eh, Yo posición telemarketing secretary. Ok. Vanessa is department sales. Ok, Vanessa's department. Vanessa's mm -hmm, is sales. Mm -hmm. Sales, you say. Ok, thank you. Very good. Uh, Naum, your turn. Sí, tú no has pasado nada. Ok, teacher. Eh... Silvana's workplace is in Bank of America. Mm -hmm. And Silvana's, sí, perdón, Silvana's ID 20, 14, and 15. Thank you. Silvana. Inventado, but that's okay. No, teacher. <laughs> oh, really? I'm... No, yeah. teacher. Really. Indignada. Sure. Silvana indignada. Okay. No, teacher. It really. I, I okay, bye, bye, bye. Okay, yes, good. Teacher, we, you know. <laughs> okay, no, it's about attending. No, no, I don't find it. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay, no problem. We believe you. Te creemos. Okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, perfect. Uh, no, uh, Silvana, your turn. Okay, uh, my partner was Naum Hernandez. Mm -hmm. um, Workplace in a Crio Inversiones and hot position is a bill manager. Okay, job position, bill manager. Thank you. Okay, um, I think everybody is finished. Creo que todos terminamos. Help in case I person. Well, I think we have uh, all finished. Thank you. And uh, here we have employees information. I will need, uh, well, here we have ready following information about an employee. This is an empleado. This is como this is like main information about uh, Mauricio Quintanilla. Let's see. Um, can you help me, please, Silvana, with the office main phone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Office main phone. 
is seven two mm -hmm. zero three ninety one yeah uh, sixty four okay como decimos setenta y dos seven two seventy two a 72. Okay. Aquí podemos decir 03 o podemos decir 03. Ok. Ok. Sure. Ok. Here we have. Um, uh, help me place Mabel with the workplace. What is the workplace? Mabel. Workplace around technology company. Thank you. And address known. Please help me uh, by saying the address. Okay, on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Uh, number, can, can I say number? Yep, yes, that's correct. Is a... Teacher, esos números se dicen separados o de un solo? I'm sorry. Uh, you can say, you know, uh, like... Uh, like whole, individual. Completo. Uh, you can say individual. A, A, five, three. Como diría, 853. 853. Yes, perfect. Uh -huh. Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Now here we have job position. Hugo, what is this, uh, Mauricio's job position? Mauricio's position is software designer. Designer. Thank you. Carlos, help me with the ID because the department is production. So, Carlos, tell me what is uh, the... Mauricio ID. The ID, the Mauricio ID is MQ 10 uh, 8359. Perdón, for uh, 59. 59, perfect. So here we have uh, different uh, locations, directions. And uh, Jenny is going to help you with number one and Jose with number two, okay? So Jenny, please, um, vamos a hablar acerca de, we're going to talk about the address, okay? Mm -hmm. Here we have the map. So Jenny, help me by reading number one, please. Okay. It is located in front of the small on First Avenue. Mall, mall. Mm -hmm. Mall. On First Avenue. Sé que parece small, pero es small. Okay. Okay. It's located in front of the mall in First Avenue. In front of the mall in First Avenue. ¿Estará el trabajo de Mauricio? It's yes, it's mall. In he, he works in Arrows Technology Company. Arrows Technology Company. And you said, you said, uh, Jennifer, in front of what? No. Mm -hmm. But you said in front of the what? I'm sorry. Mall? Yeah, in front of the mall and First Avenue. Not right? No, no, no. Okay, right. no. Okay, thank you. Okay, Jose, uh, help me by reading number two, please. It is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. Okay, so First Avenue behind the restaurant. Yeah. Is this the correct uh, direction, Jose? Yes, there is mm. because First Avenue behind behind. Mm. Um, okay, <laughs> I okay. say no for this time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, could it be behind the restaurant? Mm -hmm. Maybe, pongámosle, depends. Hey, Vamos depends. a probar las otras. We're going to check the others, okay? Maybe you can get up an extra point. Okay. Um, let's see. Number three, uh, please help me, Silvana. It is located. It is located on Roosevelt Street. Between the restaurant and book war. On Roosevelt Street, between the restaurant and book war. And do you think uh, this is the correct uh, direction? No. Mm, are you sure? On Roosevelt Street, between the restaurant and book war. Silvana. 
sigue tu corazón. Follow your heart. No. Oh, no, you say no. Okay. I think that is no. You think it is not. Okay. Now, number four, please help me. Linda, it is located. It is located along Roosevelt Street next to the city hall at and the park. Okay, along Roosevelt Street, along Roosevelt Street. Uh huh. Next to the city hall in the park. Next to the city hall in the park. Mm, next to, mm, I don't think so. So here we have two options. It is located uh, behind the restaurant, atrás del restaurante. O entre el restaurante y, y el mundo del libro. I consider it's number three. Okay, on Roosevelt Street, between the restaurant and book world. Okay, so that's the one. Quotations, pero antes de las quotations, uh, me habían solicitado por ahí que hiciera un pequeño repaso con respecto a esto. Ya les digo, I'm going to show you. Okay, about uh, this, uh, that it is on, in, at. Si vamos a hablar, if we are going to talk about directions, si vamos a hablar acerca de las direcciones, podemos decir on Fourth Avenue, on the corner, on street. Esto es, eh, esto es importante, on street. Esto es, eh, this is very important because we can use it, this. On Fourth Avenue, on Boulevard Avenue, no, on Boulevard, on Roosevelt Avenue, on Various Street, ¿verdad? Entonces, Para avenidas y para calles, on. If you, you say in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in Soya City, in San Jacinto, in uh, La Campanera, as Jose mentioned once, uh, in Cojutepeque, okay? You can use this, in. Or we can use at for a specific place. Un lugar bien específico podemos utilizar at. For example, at the middle room, at work, at the back, okay? So remember, on is for avenues and street. Well, podemos utilizar corners, pero avenues and street, I think those are the most important. And also here we have in for uh, the, we can say the department of El Salvador, for example, in El Salvador, and uh -huh, in the park, in the neighborhood, pero principalmente en, en San Salvador in Soyapango, in Cabañas, in La Libertad. And at is for uh, the work at bank or at the meeting room, at the office, at the office, ¿verdad? En la oficina, mm -hmm. we can use at. Okay, so here we have this. Uh, I consider that uh, this is very important to have it clear. It's important to tenerlo claro uh, because uh, tenemos on, in, at para otro uso. Ya se lo voy a mostrar. Que algo que también estudiamos, uh, we started, we uh, review like one one week ago. Creo que una semana ago. Okay. Okay. Le voy a mostrar el siguiente. Mm -hmm. Let me see. También tenemos on in at that we use for days of the week por día de la semana. Or dates o fechas, pero la fecha que contenga el mes y este, la fecha. En cambio, si solo vamos a hablar del mes, solo decimos in May, in September, in December, ¿ok? Ojo con esto. On es para el día. On Monday, on Friday. Pero si tenemos el mes y la fecha, on January 3rd, ¿ok? Ahora, in la vamos a utilizar para solo el mes o solo para el año. In May. In 2018, in 2020, okay. Y obviamente que podemos decirlo acá, más específico, on. Y at, principalmente, es para la hora. Mm -hmm. So you can see that we have on, in, at, uh, use in different situations for places, for directions, and for date or time. 
¿verdad? Porque parece que sí había una, una, una duda con respecto a eso. So I recommend you to write the examples. If you have the examples, uh, it is not necessary to have the definition because you have to follow the examples, ¿ok? Siguen los ejemplos, que es mejor, es mejor. Así de sencillo, siguen los ejemplos. Ok, y nos preparamos con las quotations. Nos preparamos con las quotations. Que um, mientras están copiando, ok. Uh, mientras están copiando, we're going to listen to Jenny. You have yours? Ya lo dijiste, Jenny. Yeah. Ok. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Um, and let's see. Uh, we go with Roxy. Are you ready? Roxy. No, no. Saira Vanessa. No se le había dicho. No, right. Ya no nos lo ha dicho, no. ¿verdad? No. Ok, please. Uh, to be every evening, sound impossible. Uh, mm -hmm. Inter. It is long. Mm -hmm. Ok, who said that? ¿Quién dijo eso? Nelson Monde. Ok, can you repeat it, please? ¿Podría repetirla, por favor? Uh, Ever in Dream, sound impossible como... Impossible, no sé si la... impossible. Uh, impossible. Uh, En, eh, es que no sé cómo se pronuncia esta come palabra. On, come no on. Sé. Eh, decímela cómo se escribe. Until. 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 Solo cambiar la O por la O. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sería everyday sound impossible until in its ears dumb. Ok, nice. Eh, cada sueño parece imposible hasta que se hace, right? Something like that. No, mm -hmm. parece imposible hasta que se hace. Yeah, yeah, good. I really like Martin Luther King's uh, phrases. Okay, uh, thank you, Zaira. What about uh, Elena? No me lo has dicho, ¿verdad, Elena? Come on, mentira, teacher. Hey, uh, <laughs> también mienten. <thing. Así>. Vaya. <laughs> no creo. Okay. <clears throat> Genius is one uh, percent, percentage, como se dice? Percentage, percentage. Percentage. Pero uno por ciento. One percent. One percent. One percent. Genius is one percent talent and ninety nine percent. Hard work, Albert Einstein. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, the talent and hard work is 99, el 99%. Okay. Yes. That's el genio es 1% de talento y un 99% de trabajo duro. Trabajo duro, perdón. Trabajo duro es 99%. Good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Mabel, you have yours? Yes. Mm -hmm. Please tell us. Be the change you want to see in the world. Gandhi. Be the change you want to see. Yes, I really like that one. Say el cambio que quieres ser en el que quieres que sea en el mundo o que quieres ser. Uh -huh. Que quieres ver en el que mundo. Que quieres ver así. Ah, want ver to see in the world. Wow, what profound, of course. Thank you, Gandhi, one of my favorites. Uh, okay, and um, Silvana, your turn. Money can buy life. Mm -hmm. uh, money can't buy life. Uh -huh. Money can't buy life. Yes, no se puede. Yeah. 
Bueno, pues, no puede ser un poquito felices. But we can't buy black with money. Yes. That's it. Thank you. Creo que este... Ya todos nos... Todos esto. So, um, eh, this was just a review. Es solo una revisión. 29 minutos and we finished. Ok. So, now that we finished the quotations, we are going to practice... Well, we're going to have a listening practice. Vamos a tener una práctica uh, de listening. So I need you to. I need you to. Okay. We're going to use these categories. Name, phone, workplace, address, job position, department, and ID. Please write down, por favor escriba. No es necesario el cuadro, pero sí las categorías. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Ready? Yes. Uh, in my, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. sí. no, no, in, my, in my case, in my case, I didn't hear you. No, no, no uh, just write the categories: name, phone, workplace, address, job, position, uh -huh. department, and ID. We have four. We have four audios. So, um, eh, vamos a escuchar el primer. Okay. I'm sorry. Here we go. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. Her is twenty two fifty two fifty six ninety seven eighty nine. I work in a city hall. On second, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lo voy a poner de nuevo. Se pueden tener problemas con este audio. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is twenty two fifty six ninety seven eighty nine. I work in a city hall on Second Avenue. And Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and one. Okay, and we're going to listen again. Vamos a escuchar de nuevo. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256. 9789. I work in a city hall on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and one. Okay, nice. Now we're going to listen to. Okay, just to check. Uh -huh. uh, name, what is the name of this, uh, this girl? Gabriela. Gabriela. Okay, voy a seleccionar a alguien. Elenita, do you have the phone number? 
Um, lo escuché a medias, teacher. Le voy a decir lo que escuché. Dime qué escuché. 22, 10, 6, 8, 10. This is like, no correct. Ok, ok. Nice. Do you have another information? ¿Tienes más? Porque me gusta que seas creativa, pero. Eres muy creativa, demasiado. Ok. My workplay is City Hall. Ajá. And address and second avenue, avenida, and Roosevelt, and job position is secretary, mm -hmm. department human resource. And the ID? No, 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 Okay, what about, <laughs> okay, what about Silvana? Do you have the, the phone number and the ID? The phone number is 226 98 mm -hmm. and 89. Okay, and the ID? Only 50. Okay, okay. Vamos a ver. Um, let's see. Gabriela, 22, mira, Lenita, mira, mira, 56, nadie ve aquí, Silvana me la inventó, mira, aquí. pero me gusta la seguridad con la que lo dicen, eso es lo que me gusta, ok, 98, me dice, 97, 89, ok, City Hall, yeah, Second Avenue, Universal Street, Secretary of Human Resources, GT, 06031, ¿verdad? Puedes decir 06031. Ok, let's listen to the next. Vamos, vamos a escuchar el siguiente. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Berrien Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay, so a bit more rapid, but we're going to listen again. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Berrien Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay. What about Linda? Tell me the information that you got. Okay. Um, it's Mar uh, her name is Marcela. Mm -hmm. Her phone is 62-53-41-32. Is a cashier. In the department is customer and ID DM1448. Mm -hmm. Good. Te comiste un numerito. So that's okay. Muy bien. Okay, but we don't have the workplace and the address. So for this, I will need the help of Hugo. What about her workplace and uh, the address? On Berry Street on the park. Okay, nice. And what about the workplace? Do you have it? Uh... Oh, sorry, teacher. Workplace. No, 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 you don't have it. Okay. What about mm -hmm. what about Bane? Workplace Bane. Se va a reír, pero yo lo que escuché fue con palacio, palacio. Yes. Why not? Por qué no? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Bane, nunca dudes de tu corazón, Bane. Amado, dudes. Bueno, sí, duda de vez en cuando, pero, ok. 
So, uh, Marcela, 6253-4132, me lo dijeron bien. Sport Palace, mira. Ya ves, tienes que seguir tu corazón. Ok, uh, as Hugo said, on Barrier Street, mm -hmm, in front of the park. Yeah. Cashier Customer Service. Eh, Linda me dijo DM eh, 14408. Bien, Linda. Bueno, aquí creo que una. Es zero, no me dijiste cero. Uh -huh. Pero igual, va. Vamos a la oportunidad de reivindicarte después. Ok, eh, we'll go with the next. Y le voy a preguntar a los que no les he consultado. Right? Number three. Hi. My name is Elisa. My phone number is 79-63-2154. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES-96-890. Okay, let's listen again. Hi. My name is Elisa. My phone number is 79-63-2154. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES-96-890. Okay. Jenny. Tell me uh, the information that you have. Uh, Lisa, this mm -hmm. is her name. Yes, good. And it's accounting. Mm -hmm. And oh, oh, good. Okay. No, continue. Ah. Inspirate. Your office phone. Uh huh. Or is seventy nine six three two one to twenty one and fifty four. Yeah. Good. What else? What about the workplace? I there a venue. Any? I don't know. Okay. More. Okay. What about the ID in ninety six eighty nine zero. Yes, yes, yes. Ya vamos llegando. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, Carlos, do you have the workplace? Uh, in the bank. Yeah, bank. Mm -hmm. Bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. What about the address? Do you, do you get it? Um, Roosevelt Street. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect. And what about the ID? Porque Jennifer me lo dijo, pero también me le puso su, su toque. Uh, 96-890. Okay. okay. Good, good. You did it good. Here we have... Elisa, yep, 7963-2154, bank, address on Barrow Street and First Avenue, así como dijo eh, Jenny, bueno, me dijo Avenue, mm -hmm. accountant, finance, the department, and the ID, ES, eh, 96-89-0, okay? So we're going to listen uh, the last one, vamos a escuchar el último, y solo nos quedan 15 minutos. So, 10 minutes. So, the last one. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78266167. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN51159. Okay, the last time. 
Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78-26-61-67. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN5159. Good. Now let's listen to Naum. Okay, Naum. Okay, teacher. Uh, her, his name is Dennis. Mm -hmm. His cell phone number is 786167. He works in a book company. Mm -hmm. He works. And he works in a book company. And his address is Second Avenue, Roosevelt Street. Thank you. He, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm going to ask Jose. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Your, your information is correct now. Thank you. Okay, okay Jose. Hey, what okay. about the job position? The job position is salesperson. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Work at sales department. Good. And the ID is MN5159. Okay, 5159. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Dennis. Mm -hmm. 28, uh, 26, 61, 67, Bookwork, John Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street, salesperson, sales, MN5159. Yes. Me parece que, pues, eh, ya tienen. De acuerdo, eh, we have had a little practice with audios. So I consider that you can receive and you identify different types of categories or information and your listening skills uh is improving verdad so, so, la habilidad de, de, de auditiva creo que está mejorando bastante and that is good i really like that um almost to finish we have only 12 minutes we want to talk about who has the most the most influence in your life quien ha tenido la mayor influencia en tu vida y solo tenemos 12 minutos así que vamos a ver con quienes podemos avanzar y pues seguimos mañana porque sé que bueno ahora tenemos 11 ¿Quién ha tenido la mayor influencia? Who has had the most influence in your life? Solo me dicen el nombre. Uh, you can, it can be a, well, he or she can be a, a relative, a friend, uh, a pair, uh, uh, yeah, your, your, your husband, your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, mm -hmm. uh, partner, colleague. So, uh, what about, what about Carlos? Okay, um, my grandmother. Your grandmother. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. have the reason? Tienen la razón por qué? Yeah, because she raised me since I was little. Okay, she raises you. She te, te, te educó, te crió. Yeah. Okay, yeah, la, she's like your mother. Uh, es como tu mamá, yeah. right? Sí. Yeah, sí. yes. Yeah, I think uh, we have good memories with grandmas because that happened to me. My my grandma right for me. Yes, yeah, good. So you, I think you have good memories. Tiene buenos recuerdos, right? Sí, yeah. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Very good. Uh, we go now with uh, Hugo. Hi, teacher. Hello, my friend. Do you have uh, the person? Yes. My biggest influence was my grandfather. Okay. Um, a fire pencil, a fire person with uh, the fat, but with love for his family. A good person, uh, more ideas. Uh, I fight until the last day of him. Wow, good. I think uh, he has good advice. Tenía buenos consejos también, right? Yes, yes. Eh, como todas las personas, tenemos defectos, pero yeah. tenía virtudes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes. virtues, yeah. Okay, good. Yes. Positive aspects. Perfect. Positive. Thank you. Okay. Sí. Uh, 
Can you notice grandmother and grandfather? Okay, very important in our lives. Okay, uh, what about Jenny and then Linda? My mother. My mother, because, yes. Because taught me principles, principles, mm -hmm. and values. Values. She also corrected me when I need it, uh, and she has been the be my best example. Wow, beautiful words. Thank you, Jennifer. Rebellious, rebelde. Okay, perfect. Linda, then Vane. Um, in my case, uh, also my mom because she has been a hard worker and and she she teach me, teach me to be a better every day um, okay uh, that's it. okay she taught me taught is uh, me enseñó mm -hmm. or si uh, me enseña she teaches me okay es un verbo irregular okay Good, Linda. I think your mother is a nice person. Okay, Vane, are you ready? Then Jesse. Yes. Mm -hmm. My mom. Mm -hmm. Because she taught me that you are always help to help other with hope. Expecting. Expecting. Without expecting. Mm -hmm. Expecting. Uh, any day in return. Okay. What a good, uh, what a good value. I like that, Vanny. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Jesse, right? And then Elena. My mother. Um, because thanks uh, to her advice, I have uh, su succeeded. And I have fulfilled what I have proposed, proposed or proposed. Proposed, proposed. Yes, proposed. Wow, very good, Jesse. Nice. Uh, Elenita. Um, my mom teacher, uh, because she has always been there in cloudy times and with a lot of rain. She has taught, taught me be a strong and independent without losing joy and tenders. Tender. Yeah, yeah, tender. Mm -hmm. tender. Wow, independent. Atención ser independiente. Good, that's nice. Perfect, that's why you are very, uh, well, a nice person, very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Elita, I like yeah. that. Uh, who's speaking you? No, right. Okay, um, Mabel and then Jose. Um, my older sister, mm -hmm. because she always helped me in good uh, and mad. Hey, nice. She was always uh, there for you, okay? That's, a, uh, do you, well, can you notice that there are siblings, brothers and sisters, and not all of them get along. No todos se iban bien. So sometimes there, there are big differences, but it is, it's a treasure when we have brothers and we have a good relationship. That's, that's true, that's for sure. Okay. I, uh, I, I love my sister. Okay, yes, yes. You are very fortunate, muy afortunada. Ambas. Okay, uh, let's listen now to well, Roxy. I don't know. Uh, Roxy, Roxy, Roxy. Well, I think she's absent. Uh, Alejandra, I think she's working. And now let's listen to Jose. Okay, my father, teacher. Okay, let's talk about your father. His moral values. And many people say that I am the copy of my father. Because, because of your appearance or because of your personality? 
my appearance, my personality, my temperament, oh, and wow, the okay. way of thinking. Very similar. All, all the, yeah. Mm -hmm. All the areas. Everything, yeah. Everything. <laughs> Do you think that that is good? Is that good? Yeah, yeah. And he was a fail like other fathers. Human, like all yeah, humans. He's human, but fail. but he's a good a good father. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like like a very nice person. Okay, thank you, Jose. And Naum. Okay, teacher. Believe it or not, the the teacher began to come part of of the of the student like like the family, you know. Mm -hmm. And I have and I had a teacher that he was in the army of the United States. And he told me, Naum, if you don't speak English, you are in the wrong place. Wow. And, and I, I consider that he motivated to, to, to study that. Okay. And I, I, I remember when I, I get confused in some topics, but I... I you continue. I that. Mm -hmm. Yes. You continue improving. Well... So he was like the, the main motivation for you to learn English. So you have to be very thankful. Thankful. For him. Okay. Es muy agradecido. Mm -hmm. Es a point. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. of course, it's a point. And Silvana. Okay, Silvi. In this case, my mom, mm -hmm. because she is believing in me, and she told me that uh, I can all the time I can, you can say me and the, she support me in every decision in every moment. Okay, so she has always believed in you, siempre ha creído en ti. And when mm -hmm. we are, when we as, as a kid, we listen negative uh, phrases or negative ideas uh, or negative opinions about us, that affects, right, Jose? That affects a lot, especially when we are kids. But if we have uh, like a, a positive input, tenemos, verdad, ese input que es positivo, we generate a good, well, like better values, uh, more secure, estamos más seguros, and we can do a lot of things. So I think you have, you are, very fortunate, so muy afortunados. You have nice people, wonderful people in your family or around surrounding you, alrededor de ustedes. And, but that is because you are, you are beautiful and nice people. Son geniales. So that's it. And uh, we're about to finish. Uh, voy a pasar list. I'm going to check the attendance list. Um, me parece que ciertos temas, all these topics help us uh, to increase our vocabulary, we share opinions, we say what we think, okay? Even if you use the translator, you, you uh, transmit the ideas that you have. So that's the point of learning English. Not only learn and acquire vocabulary, vocabulary but also transmit a message, transmit uh, ideas and learn about culture. So that's it. So I'm going to check the attendance list. Um, Carlos. Thank you. Angela, Alejandra. <laughs> okay, this is very busy. Elenita. No, present. Okay, Ale, hello. Reviviste. Thank you. Elenita. Hello. Hello. Um, Hugo. Present. Nice. Jenny. Present. Thank you, um, Jesse. Present. Jose Palacio. Present. Nice, Linda. Mm -hmm. Linda, yes, George. Mabel. Hi. Thank you, Naum. Hello. Hello, Evane. Present. Thank you, and Sylvie. Ivana. Hi, teacher. I have, okay. Eh, lo último para despedirnos, eh, recuerden no hacer la encuesta 
sé que ya se los he dicho un par de veces y también el mensaje, eh, no sé si ya les llegó el correo con esa info. Y es, y es, ¿a alguien no le ha llegado esa info? Por WhatsApp la mandaron. Ah, por WhatsApp. Por WhatsApp, por sí. WhatsApp. Al correo no. Bien, solo me voy a tardar un, un 30 segundos. El lunes, si se pueden conectar con computadora o si pueden tener una computadora, no, más bien si pueden tener una computadora a la mano, va a ser más fácil llenar esa, esa encuesta. Sé que la mayoría están con celulares, ¿verdad? El problema está que, bueno, les voy a presentar un video en el cual eh, se explica cómo vamos a andar. So, vamos a ir copiar y pegar esa información. Lo que nos mandaron en WhatsApp, lo copiamos y lo pegamos. El punto es que si lo hacemos desde el celular es un poco más difícil. Ya hemos hecho esas encuestas con celular y cuesta más. Así que si pudiesen tener computadora, eso les va a ayudar bastante, ¿verdad? Así, y si no, pues va a tocar, va a tocar eh, pasar la información a otro lado porque cuando se salen de, de, de esa página parece que se reinicia otra vez. Entonces es bien difícil estar copiando desde el celular porque en WhatsApp le mandan un solo mensaje. No pueden copiar ciertas eh, palabras, ciertos números especialmente, ¿verdad? Que vamos a necesitar. So, si un Monday nos tomamos la foto del grupo el lunes, no falten, please. Es necesario hacer la encuesta final. Eso es, eso es primordial para pasar el curso. Y lo último, terminen, terminen las tareas mañana. Y solo vamos a tener el minute term. Si pueden hacer el minute term, háganlo mañana. Perdón, el final, final test. El examen final pueden hacerlo mañana. Ya tienen todos los conocimientos para hacerlo. Así el lunes, que es el día más complicado, no van a tener muchas cosas, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Ya sé, eh, sé que el lunes es complicado, es difícil y yo sé que van a estar cansaditos, entonces preferiría que estuvieran más relax, más chill, ¿verdad? Así que avancen mañana para no tener eh, mayor cosa que hacer. So, see you guys. Gracias, teacher. ¿Verdad? Cuídense, descansen. Sí. See you teacher, Monday. Sí. Bye. Vamos. Bye. 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 So, um, I, I was waiting for the student. Unfortunately, uh, she couldn't be here because of his uh, job. As, um, well, sometimes it happens that students have difficult schedules, complicated schedules. Not always they have uh, the necessary time to be in all classes. So I'm going to review today's class. So um, class number 19, vocabulary practice. And uh, we studied prepositions of place, how to use prepositions of place. So in this here, uh, we have the prepositions among, in front of, near, past. So the first uh, question and answers says, where is the park located? It is located among many places. Where is the sport palace located? It's located on various streets in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It is located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It is located past the school. Here um, we can see that uh, we have uh, the map of a city. 
the same map that we have been studying, analyzing and describing through the last three classes. So here we can, here we can see where is the park located and the direction says it is located among many places. Of course, the park is among many places. Where is the sport palace located? It's located on various street in front of the park. Sport palace on various streets in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It is located near the restaurant. Mall located near the restaurant. And also here we have, where is the church? It's located past the school. So the church is located past the school. If we go in this uh, direction. Also, um, the next exercise is about completing a conversation using a proposition from the box. So in this uh, case, we can go to page 39 and look at the map that it is the same map that we have been starting describing. It's a sport palace is, here we can see the bank. So uh, we can use along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, under. We can say under. The city hall is the church and the book world. The city hall is church and the book world. We can say between. The city hall is between the church and the book world. Number three, the restaurant is First Avenue. The restaurant is along First Avenue. So it's along First Avenue. Four. The church and the city hall are, the church and city hall are in front of the park. We developed an activity related to completing the following employees information about someone else. The employee's information uh, consisted on name, office, main phone, workplace, job position, department, address, and ID. So in this case, uh, they, they worked in pairs. They asked different questions related to personal information, obviously uh, focused on uh, employee's information. So they were uh, exchanging the same information, taking notes, and they, had, uh, they uh, presented a report about uh, their partner's information. Here we have employee's information, name, Mauricio Quintanilla, office main phone, 7203-9164. Workplace, Arrow Synology Company, address on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, number 853, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. Job position, software designer, department production, ID MQ 108359. So this was uh, the main topics or content covered till now. We are about to finish uh, this program uh, and students uh, have been improving their vocabulary, their fluency, accuracy, not only in written form, but also uh, related to listening skills. I have prepared different audios containing information related to work and they have developed correctly. So this is all for this class. See you next time.